that little voice inside your head, that little voice inside your head is telling you, is telling you, look in this direction. If you've been feeling that I want to do something different, I, I'm not happy with my current situation. This isn't where I want to be, whether it is from a career standpoint, physical standpoint, a relationship standpoint, where you're in it, you're going through the motions, but all through the while you're complaining, all all through the motion you are just saying to yourself, this isn't it, This is I want more. And that voice is telling you, why aren't you doing what you really want to do? Why aren't you working on this business that you've been talking about for so long? Why aren't you making that website that you've been talking about? Why aren't you finally putting the product that you have created, put it out? Shut down those external distractions, those noises, the podcast, the music, people, and go within and listen and start asking yourself some hard questions. We was in a live earlier this morning and someone said, they, they want to make a pivot. They feel that they want to do something just different. And I'm like, listen to that voice. It's probably trying to steer you in the, in the right direction. Now, of course, new beginnings. It's going to create a new feeling in yourself. You're going to have anxiety. It's going to be fear. All of that comes into play. You're human. But it's what do you do with it afterwards? It's who are you going to become when you are faced with that fear? When you are faced with something new? Are you going to get excited and push through are you going to say to yourself oh i need to fight against this resistance or do what the majority of people do go back to the same routine my biggest changes happened when I stepped out on faith stepped out on confidence stepped out on my belief of a higher power and that's when it happened when I wanted to get into real estate. And I use real estate as an example because it was something so foreign to me, something that seemed untouchable. But I always had this voice saying, you need to go into it. You need to look into it. You need to be a part of it. And I did that. And as soon as I made the commitment and the follow through, because it's one thing, yes, you say you're gonna do it, okay. You may start it up a little bit. You may do one thing on a Monday, but then Tuesday, okay, for whatever reason, it got a little busy, you couldn't do it. You never come back to it until next Monday. No. When you make that commitment, you say to yourself, no, you are going to really follow through and move with conviction, move with purpose, move with faith. Things will happen. And I'm speaking from a place where, as you see, I've been through it. I know what it feels like when it goes wrong. I know what the failures feels like. I know what setbacks feel like. But there was this voice, I promise you. Every time that just said, just get up. Yeah, just go a little bit more. You know this is what you truly want to do. Keep going. And I did. I just listened. Before, you know, there was times where I wasn't listening. I threw the hands up or I just... I accepted, well, this is gonna just this is just who I am. It will not get any better than this. And I was so wrong. And I was so out of touch with my purpose and what I was truly capable of because if I would have given up at the time when I thought I couldn't handle it, I wouldn't even seen a quarter of the rewards and the blessings that started to come afterwards. But it was a situation where, hey, you gotta have to pass another test. So if you're going home to a situation and you just say, you're saying to yourself, this just isn't it. Okay, well, why? What are you gonna do about it? And another thing is you feel like you're not, you don't have a place. You don't have a spot for whatever it is that you, you know, your endeavors, your dreams. No, be you, be yourself. What makes you unique is you being unapologetically you. Stop trying to copycat everybody else because you see, oh, this person's winning, so I guess I need to do it like this. Oh, this person's winning, so I need to try that. That's why there's never any follow through. 
you have to have the faith and the confidence in yourself in yourself instead of every time you see a, a new shiny object or a person doing oh this person's doing wholesaling this person's doing drop shipping this person's e-commerce it's, every time you see something different oh i guess i can let me go over here let me go over here no no no, no. that's just showing you don't have any follow-through that's showing you don't have the belief in yourself and the the belief that you can do it so the minute you see the latest youtube video about hey i made 100k in drop shipping okay i guess you do a drop shipping now no continue on building out your art no continue on building out your real estate portfolio no continue on building out whatever it is that you initially initially wanted to do wanted to create and have don't give up everybody it's one thing to say it it's one thing to plan and you make the the pinterest board and you make this and you work just execute You've been wanting to put a video out on YouTube for a year now. Where's the video? It's not the right thumbnail. It's not the right. How do I do description? There's people blowing up just with an iPhone, their car, and their their idea and being themselves. So I wanted just to leave that with you guys. Just go if you listen to that voice. That voice is trying to tell you. That voice is trying to tell you. All right, so I'll leave you with that. More videos are on the way. Let's go.